Hi, Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? I just want to focus on the card this time because this card is amazing and it just came out and I'm so excited to use it. Um, so if you are not aware, um, we get the first drops in, in Tarot um, because I do uh, have good resources to get it. So if you're a tarot enthusiast, make sure you check out when this one um, gets out in the store. All right. So let's begin over here. Let's see what's going on. For my Cancerians, how is everybody doing? Okay. I'm busy with the store right now, running back and forth like crazy because it's the holidays. So I do apologize if, uh, how to say this, if I don't show my face right now because I haven't gotten myself put together. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see. But it's the same person, guaranteed. 100% satisfaction. Mm. You have a three of cups over here. It shows that you are in a celebration mood. Mm -hmm. You may be going out of town, seeing family and friends. Um, the three of cups here, look at that. It's, it's like the holidays, like what I mentioned. Um, you have your family together. That can be it. Um, the three of cups is the part of a reunion. Um, you know, people celebrating for a specific, um, how to say this, a specific reason or cause, cause. Like it can be, um, of course, baptism, wedding, um, name it, it's a celebration. So your first card is a celebration. Now, if we go to traditional tarot, um, this is a card of um, reconciliation because it's a reunion actually, right? So when people, like normally this is like actually a high school reunion, college reunion, like that. That's why it's reconciling. It's not reconcile. It's a reunion. But since we read love and romantic connection here, then it's a reunion of two people who are separated. But it's always three here. Now, you understand why it became a reconciliation card? It's actually a reunion. People who are separated um, will come back together and then talk about something good from the past, which makes the Three of Cups a past relationship now you understand the history of it right okay so i hope that helps mm -hmm. you have your the knight of cups okay so here it's showing that it can be a person who was coming to you strong making you happy you know taking you out for a nice dinner on this side and then you have here the knight of cups they leave now the knight has a specific um age group Okay, so the page would have, this is their late 20s, that's a Knight of Cups. So they do mean to look for a serious relationship. However, not enough to commit. Looking, but not really um, putting in the work. So with uh, this combination, it doesn't add up. Meaning they come to you strong, making you feel like heaven. And then all of a sudden, another thing will come out in their life, which is a Knight of Cups their attention is going to be moved to another thing. Another, not another person, but it can be a situation or a person. But Knight of Cups, like, all of a sudden, you're in the back burner. From you being the priority, now you are in the back burner with the Three of Cups over here. So let's see where is this Knight going to. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. So I feel like your person always goes to rescue for other people neglecting um these are this is a different deck so the read is so different which is i love so they keep saving other people misery like it can be a mom their father their friends that's a nine of swords so if you see closely here they try to cheer up other people since you guys are set okay so yes you're not a priority yes they have a kind heart they go and rescue other people's nightmare but i'm not sure how long do you wait before they come back? So this is a person who's like, oh, uh, my friend, you know, needs help. So they go there. Um, my aunt needs help. My brother needs help. So they come to rescue. Every time they have someone that they care for, not just you, okay, they come to them. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is someone who's outside of the relationship. And then the moon. Okay. So the moon here represents you. Okay, it's a struggle if you see that closely. It's a battle. Mm -hmm. There's there's this uh, white light kind of image here, and then there's a darker 
um, energy over here. No, the dark and the light doesn't mean it's bad and good and bad, okay? Um, this is only showing that it's a battle between your conscience, allowing them to do what they want and do what they need, and then just expect them to come back. Mm -hmm. So this is your good um, this is your good side, your good kind hearted, you know, this is your good nature. Well, if they have to do something, then okay. So the moon goes with the flow, right? So this is your card of consideration. You're being considerate to other things that your person, okay, that, that you love, okay, when they need to go somewhere else. So this is you going with the flow. Very, very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Because you're, you're a person who thinks for them, who really cares. It's like, mm -hmm. So let's see. You have, oh, there it is. But of course, just like anyone who's feeling, um, you know, being in the back burner, this is a card of dissatisfaction, which is the Five of Cups. So you see here, it's like counting the days. When is this person coming back? When is this person even going to surface? right? So they've been missing for quite some time now. Now, the moon here is a cycle. So it could have been in the last um, 30 days, because okay? the moon goes in 30-day cycle, 29. Um, so in the past month, you haven't heard from them, Five of Cups, right here, and then you're just waiting for them to basically message, text you, because from being happy, now you're sad. So this was and this used to be the two of you very very happy very very jovial okay now they have here the four of cups okay so your person is basically right now it's uh, they're chillaxing and they're not paying attention to you um their mind is elsewhere they're dilly dally and they seem to have forgotten you they seem to have forgotten you so you see here, like, well, I'm just resting over here, you know. Um, and then you're here. It's like they don't even think about you. You're constantly thinking about the good times, which is the Three of Cups. Normally, that's why the Five of Cups is like missing an opportunity because you look at the cup. Normally, the, the three is up and the two is uh, two is down. Okay, But here, you're looking at this like, oh, the good memories okay, that you guys have shared because it's the Two of Cups. But they're not really concerned about it. They're more concerned about their own welfare, which is here, the Four of Cups. So now the energy between the two of you, which is the love, um, well, this is five and four, nine of cups. Instead of the two of you being happy together, because nine of cups wish, wish fulfillment, if you put it into five and four, then both are dissatisfied. Well, you're dissatisfied. They're not. They're just taking their time. Because this person also can be waiting for you to message. You have the Queen of Wands, okay. So this is not you, because this is you. The Queen of Wands is a person, can be an ex. The Knight of Cups goes to the Queen. Nine of Swords is the Queen. Oh, I'm, I need you. I need you to help me. Now, the Queen of Wands can be very, very alluring. She's a seductress. So your person can be very, very fickle when it comes to going to rescue. It can be a girlfriend, like a friend that is a girl. And then that's where it's like, well, you know, it's harmless. She just needs me. But for you, it's just like, no, you always do this. You know, it's like when someone who's this, you know, because she's a temptress. So he gets tempted. She's the temptress. You're left out. Mm -hmm. And mind you, you guys, you guys come from a very, very happy relationship. So this is now becoming a mistress because their interest is more of them. And they have forgotten about you. You have your strength card. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because the strength card, there's this Leo, Cancer, can be Pisces, can be Scorpio, can be Gemini. Okay. Now, the strength card over here is just you are just trying to fight your mind over here. This is a battle now between yourself. Whether should I reach out? Should I talk to them? What should I do? Because this is now a battle deep within you. Because this is the mind, this is the emotion. What should I do? Mm -hmm. So you're praying now. This it feels like you're asking. Now, the bear is always about a mama bear, which means like you are asking for protection also. This can be like you're talking to your mom, you're asking for advice. And then the strength card is uh, the bear. is. It's normally, uh, you know, the cub and the bear. It's in the animal totem. It's about being reliable. So you're connecting with someone who is very caring, more reliable than you, because now you need someone to be there for you. Normally, you would go to them. 
and this is what you're missing out. It's just like, so now that I need you, okay, five of cups, you're elsewhere because this person needs some rescuing, and then now you're just trying to find strength to other, to other people, or even just to you. So what do you do now? This is, the, this is the question. Link down there in the description box below. We shall see what will happen next in the extended. So thank you very much guys for watching and make sure to get your chart in the description and visit our store, um, eatreadlove.me, of course our website, download our app, and at the same time, visit me in Los Angeles. I'm there every day. Like, like totally, it's so busy, okay? I'll see you guys again, bye.